bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. I'm Christine. I'm Mo. And today we're bringing you another book shopping vlog. I was not sure what that was called when we're I went into really this. We're never really sure the titles while right. we're doing it. Right. Eventually a channel will be chosen and you will click on it and then you will be here with us in this moment. Right. Where we are shopping. For books. Okay, so today we are actually doing a couple of things. It's gonna be a fun vlog. We're gonna go pick up some coffee. We're gonna go pick up some balloons for a little something something that happened on our Instagram recently. <laughs> and then we're gonna hit up a couple of bookstores. We have three in mind and- We have, we have a plan, we have a loose plan. I mean, it'll be in the description down below, but right now in this moment, in the vlog moment. It's a loose plan. <laughs> we've oh. got three in mind, two bookstores, one comic shop, and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get started. Not even five seconds out and we have a tortoise. He's a cutie. What is going on? He's getting his exercise. <laughs> Instagram. Well, let's just say it's part of a party. Yes, it's a celebratory gift tool. item. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Alias. Alias books. We I, found some books. Yeah. We did. We did. We when I first walked in, I thought it was not gonna be as good as it was. Mm -hmm. Because it looked like a very specialty shop from like the tiny little clips you guys saw. But um yeah, I mean, what'd you think? I I had to stop looking because I was like, I'm gonna buy too much, too many things here. Yeah. So yeah, we we both got a good little haul for sure. But it's like you had to really look. It kind of was like thrift shopping, where like you can get overwhelmed by all the stuff you don't want, mm -hmm. and you have to really look for the gems, you know? Yeah. But I she found it. like so many books. She's like, don't you want this? I was like, oh, I gotta put. Things I guess I the books that I knew Monique would want. <laughs> I was like, I gotta put things back. Because yeah, I was yeah. just picking up things I might want to read. Yeah. And he was like, this is what you did say you wanted to read. And I was like, oh my Yeah, she's God. like, I can't believe you found that. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have the trained eye. Yeah, so. but y'all know, these kind of shops, I go for one thing and one thing only. The classics. Yeah, she had a lot. I was like, are we getting all these? Yeah, I couldn't buy everything I wanted. But I did buy one that I haven't uh, had before. I haven't read before. Madame Bovary. I remember you talking about it. So I was like, mm, I should read this. Because I never had to read it for school. I do like that book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're on the way. Goodbye. is slowly just look it's like <laughs> clip to her pants the two is slowly deflating wait <laughs> where are you hey guys what's up oh my gosh it's like a microphone hello my name's christine there's gonna be an actual photo because i don't know how we got it done i don't know how the two got so deflated i think it got popped on the way $20 down the drain. It's more than that. But anyway, 
Balloons. Anyone, everyone smiles with balloons. Did you they just do. zoom in? Oh, that's no. the reflection. Oh. I can see the reflection. Okay, we're gonna go now. <laughs> bookstore down we went to what's it stories stories and, and coffee and such i messed up the title but it was a cute little indie bookstore i bought way more things than i was expecting to so the account is is concerned but you We're know we little. we came to buy books again you they know had a really good fiction selection i know it was like oh i heard about this purchase oh yeah. i heard about this purchase and then yeah. i found well you'll see at the end but oh, that's what happened there now we're heading to you know the good old being in yeah because there are some books that we actually need to get y'all like need is it must be me well i do i do i need <laughs> some for my vlog that i'm doing but but yeah just like that mainstream sh shiitake Yes, you're drinking coffee, maybe you want to drink product placement. Okay. Anyway, so it's about, what, 4.30 right now? Yeah. We're uh, heading on to our last stop. We're yeah. going to finish a couple of TikToks today. Yep. And wrap up this vlog. It's a vlog. It's, a day, it's our day in our life. It's a day trip. Maybe we'll do it in the car again like we did the last time. Also a possibility. Yeah. So many possibilities. We'll you know, like I said, this was a loose plan. Today was a plan to buy books. It was just to have fun. But, yeah. There you go. I have so far bought not a single book that I wanted to buy. Does that make sense? Like, yes. I, like I have books on my brain that I wanted to buy eventually, but none of these books that I bought today did I want to buy today. Does that make sense? Yes, that's how my account is. But like, I girl, mm -hmm. you weren't planning to buy any of the books that you bought. Mm -hmm. Hold the trigger. Yes. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Bye-bye. was the end of our adventure today yeah it's it weird was, it was an adventure <laughs> we did so much stuff we really really y'all really yeah. we just did three tiktoks in 30 minutes that is a new record for us so yeah i'm like who are we and it was like in public with other people watching you and know what i mean i filmed some of them yeah yes and that's really the shocker of it are we professionals we're getting there <laughs> who am i like who am i i'm really shook about that one hopefully oh my god that little doggy there have been so many cute dogs out. oh his little belly the alias books you're yeah. right and at alias books i think you got three books i did so first i got the only good indians i've heard so much good things about this um <laughs> i don't really know what it's about pretty much I just know that it's good. And yeah. I, mm -hmm. That's really all I got. I think it's supposed to be like a horror book. Yeah, I definitely have seen that 
and wanted to read it but do i know anything about it a tale of revenge it? cultural identity and the cost of breaking from tradition and this latest novel from the jordan peele of horror literature oh fun. that's really all i took that and everyone has said it's good i haven't heard a bad review then i got the virgin suicide um i think i've seen the movie once or twice and you know yeah. the provocative national bestseller so i think it's supposed to be like just tragic a little humor in there you know dark comedy fun yeah then the last book i got was another horror i'm trying to like scare myself i think i don't know what's going on you're just preparing preparing for a dark dark but this is like a neo-gothic and after i read mexican gothic I'm gonna just set that right there. I was like, tired. ooh, like, makes Wishy. me think I'm blocking my face. <laughs> but anyway, so this is called White is for Witching. I heard it's crazy. That's so funny. That guy probably thought I was recording him because of the way my hand is on the thing. Sorry. Like, literally, he was right there sitting there for a minute. <laughs> And I was like, why is he waiting? Anyway, sorry. So anyway, right is for witching. I hear it's really, really, really creepy. And I've never read anything by Helen Oyemi. So I'm ready to be scared. Fun. Creeped out. Creeped out. Okay. Okay, guys. And then from the same store, the alias, I got like five different books. So first of all, I got Madame Bovary. Because Monique was talking about how that was like one of the only classics she's ever liked. And I've actually shockingly never read this. It sounds incredibly boring, but yeah. we'll see what's going on. It's not it's, everyone's favorite. Yeah, it sounds like this lady just gets bored with her life and starts effing stuff up. Which reminds me, I think it's Atonement or... Wuthering well, Heights? I don't know. No, someone where she dies in the water. Anyway, <laughs> Madame Bovary. Then I got True Grit. That is a surprise. Yeah. I really like that movie. I love this movie and I think I'm really gonna like the book. Plus it's not very like, you know, thick. So I feel like this will be fun. But basically what happens is this young woman seeks revenge on a man and she teams up with like an older cowboy and they go on a old west adventure and it sounds like a lot of fun. So love that movie, you're gonna do that. Of course I got The Great Gatsby. I can't believe you didn't already own that. I used to have it, but my copy was disgusting. Oh. So I think I may have given it away because I was just like, oh, this copy is not cute. But this one's actually really cute. I love. Um, and we all know what The Great Gatsby is about. Okay, yes. classic. I also got Fight Club. Stop. I got a lot of movie books, I just realized. Mm -hmm. um, he looks messed up. Anyway, I don't want to give away anything about this, but Fight Club was a really good movie. And I think this book is going to be really good as well. And then by the same author, I got Invisible Monsters. You bought a lot at this bookstore. Yeah, I did. I really did. I don't know what this is about. I just feel like somebody just read it and I was like, oh, cute. Plus my copy of Lullaby is uh, the lime green color. So it's going to look really good with this hot pink. It really will. And that's what I got at that bookstore. So then at Stories. At Stories Books and Cafe. This was just sold to me. It's called Gut Feelings, The Intelligence of the Unconscious. Mm. And it's pretty much like a, I guess a self-help book or like a science book about just going with your gut more and, you know. Acting, not thinking so much. Yeah, like just listening to your like instinct, I guess. Perfect for and you. Yeah. So you just, need that. Yeah. So I'm interested to see like what type of like rules this has or like what, how it breaks like, you know, the rules of logic. Mm -hmm. So it seemed good. Which it you live your very, life by. And it didn't seem very like too much yeah wordy it was like the it's very small mm. then i got hmm. daisy jones and the six i haven't read i know just gonna expose myself i haven't read anything by taylor jenkins reed yes and everybody is talking about her everyone loves this book everyone likes seven husbands and everyone wants to read malibu rising so i was like i need Ooh, to get yeah. i need to get in with the in you know like i need to understand so i think this is one of noelle's favorite books wow interesting that you said that why you'll see later okay but so yeah cool i think i wanted to read it on audiobook but maybe i could find it like for free somewhere next i got hallucinate hallucination hallucinate how do you say that <laughs> oh my god hallucinations that's right yeah hallucination it's hallucination it's but like because of the s i think it's tripping you out hallucinations Hallucinations. I think it's because I'm sound like I'm saying the word nations, which is what you are I saying. Be the saying word nations. But I don't know why I thought I was saying it wrong. Hallucinations. Anyway, hallucinations by Oliver Sacks. 
I think Emma from the Overstuff Shelf was reading this, and I don't know if she liked it, but I remember My saying like, shaking. I remember saying, oh dang, I really want to read this, so I got it. I think it's just about that's cute the experience of hallucinations. I don't really know. And then this is the one that kind of put me over in the budget category yeah because no one wanted to buy this today but here we are i really was not actually that's not true i was trying to find kindred in a cool copy all day well i found it and i bought it yeah i just didn't want it in a graphic novel but it's fair. fine i'm really into graphic novels i've always been but <laughs> but look it's kindred in a graphic novel yeah that's gonna be Butler. cool i haven't read this book i hope i this doesn't like trip me up and like we're in the experience you know but. i'm pretty sure this woman is living in california present day and then gets transported back to Ooh. like when white people Silver owned South. slaves yes. so <laughs> she obviously by the cover we see she gets put in chains i believe and i can't remember if her because she has a white husband so i can't remember if her husband goes with her or if because of her experience of being married to a white man she feels like she's not going to take no shit from white men and that is troublesome when she gets put back in time because obviously they yeah, don't respect don't her so anyway it sounds really good yeah it's i mean she's like you know fantasy queen yeah so hopefully the adaptation is just as enjoyable as the thing so that's all i got from storybooks and cafe okay and then from the same location i got two books i got ace which is actually on recommendation from darian i think she read this in like december i wanted to read that too sorry okay, well i bought it so we can both read it i think she read this in december or maybe got it in december for christmas something like that and i was like i remember specifically writing this book down because it is about people who are dealing with asexuality and kind of more of an understanding of that as someone who isn't asexual i think this is going to be really educational for me and i cannot wait to dive in so i got this ace and then i got a burning which i've had my eyeball on for quite a while wasn't expecting to buy it today but the copy just looks so freaking cool yeah. and i'm a sucker for books that like look cute the colors yeah and the colors just look cool yes so this novel follows three different storylines all of them are intertwined into one but basically a girl posts something on facebook and that kind of leads to her being arrested for a crime and in the kind of like midst of that two other characters kind of pop up one of the characters may have the answer to like get her out of prison and yeah it just follows those three storylines so i'm really excited for this book i think it's gonna be really good and i can't wait i can't wait to read it so yeah that's what i got at stories i bought books at every place we went today and that was not my intention i mean <laughs> maybe it was <laughs> anyway i bought first let me show this one first i got the hunting party uh, by liz foley i really like the guest list so i think i'm gonna like this i don't know what it's about i'm assuming someone goes on a hunting party and then someone's murdered yeah i think it's literally the same storyline like a group of people go to do a hunting party thing and then somebody gets murdered and they have to figure out who it is yeah sounds like a great time for me and then finally i got day tripper which i hear is noelle's favorite book which is why i was like that's funny that you said that Daisy Jones and the Six was one of her favorites. Yeah, she but liked it. I heard this was really good. She just talked about this on her channel. Yes. and it sounded interesting i can't remember yes. for the life of me what it's about but i feel like it's a sci-fi mm. it's kind of like time travel but maybe not something but i'm trying to read it really quick so i think this follows a budding author who just dreams of being a famous author and he's always just waiting for that day where it's gonna happen um but during his day job is actually writing obituaries <laughs> yes he pins people's obituaries that's and a noble job though he dreams of being a famous author and he's just waiting for the day to begin and then um i think it just kind of goes through like different stories to see like when like weaves stories of other people mm -hmm. to see how it affects him i think okay. anyway she said it's very moving and i believe her okay cool well yes. guys that is gonna conclude the end of our vlog so if you guys liked this trip with us and you want to see more la bookshops um or thrifting videos leave a comment down below and let us know what your cup of tea is also if you like this video give it a like for us um turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss another video from us and please subscribe if you would like to support me and monique on this channel because we love hanging out with you guys and we're so glad that you're here
We really are. Yes. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the day. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope that we got good vlog footage. I'm not quite sure because we did so many things. <laughs> Yeah, we were really out here. Mm -hmm. But we bought books, and that's what we came to show yeah, it's everyone, true. really. At it's the end of the true. Day. It's true. Did we get any footage of the stores? Who knows? But did, we, did we get books? Yes. Yes, we did. We did. And that's what matters. So, anyway, as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.